What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now, I, before I start this video, I want to say that this is going to be a labbing session where I'm trying out an idea that I had, and it's not going to be fully optimized, but it's like the bare bones of the idea. So, I want to try to get a couple of these in every week. Let me know how often you guys want me to do like showdown content like this in the comment section down below. That's going to be the comment question of the day. Remember the content on this channel is determined by you guys. So comment right now. How often would you be fine with this sort of video like twice a week, once a week? Just let me know. Anyways, so this team, I'm going to be using a Zygarde 50% turning into Zygarde 100%, uh, essentially power construct team. He's got Breaking Swipe, which is actually a pretty nice option for him in this metagame. Uh, Coil, Thousand Arrows, and Iron Tail. With the Misty Seed and the ability Power Construct, I'm running enough special defense where it's just like I can take an Ice Beam from Kyogre at plus one or behind screens. Uh, but yeah, I'm like this is going to be a very strange team concept. However, it is based off of a successful team from 2019 where he used uh, Tapu Fini with Heal Pulse onto a Zygarde to help it stay alive. And with Dynamax, Power Construct Zygarde is very difficult to KO. I'm sure you've all done the Dynamax Raid Adventure where you just can't get it for the life of you. So I'm trying to recreate that. <laughs> Anyways, we're running a very basic Tapu Fini spread. Like I said, not optimized. Max HP, max speed, 4 speed, or 4 special defense. Uh, Timid Nature, Moonblast, Muddy Water, Heal Pulse, Protect. At one point, I actually was considering running Rabombi or Comfey next to this thing, but I feel like Tapu Fini special defense boost is just too much to give up. Figgy Berry, Incineroar, Intimidate, Fake Out, Taunt, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Specially Defensive. Uh, Regieleki is actually a very interesting set. <laughs> Basically, I'm like, okay, how do I beat Torn Ogre every single time? And I'm like, lead Incineroar, set up Light Screen, we're good. Uh, however, what if I end up, like, I, I just need to be able to eat a hit in the off chance I can't, you know, <laughs> set up a Light Screen safely. So I just made it so this thing, it's so stupid, it's so stupid, but hear me out. This thing just takes a water spout from Kyogre. <laughs> it's so dumb. I didn't even know I could do that. It's Mystic Water Modest Kyogre too. You're able to eat a water spout. So it's Calm Regieleki. Please bear with me as I run through my garbage sets. Um, we have Assault Vest Kartana standard and we have just a Weakness Policy Moltres in the back for a secondary mode in case Zygarde just isn't cutting it. But yeah, Let's try our luck. For all I know, I could win every single game. For all I know, I could lose every single game. We're just going to try it out. Hopefully, it's entertaining regardless. But yeah, let's get into it. If you enjoyed this at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a match. I had to do a thing. But yeah, uh, I feel like the team's pretty okay. Like, like on the surface, it looks all right. We're probably going to face some memes today because I'm on mid ladder, or low ladder, or whatever I'm at uh, on this account. But I'm interested to see what we face. Anyway, so here is Calyrex Shadow plus... I don't know what Suicune does. Probably just like unfake outable Tailwind. I also can't intimidate on lead. However, I I kind of feel comfortable going Zygarde on lead anyways. Um, even if I get like intimidated, I can just coil. Incineroar in the back doesn't seem awful, especially considering what they've got here. I just have to play around that uh, Tornadus effectively. And my last Pokemon, I'm somewhat tempted to go Regieleki. Or... Or, hear me out, hear me out. Nah, I go Regieleki. <laughs> As they go Thunderous Suicune, I, I am scared of the possible, um, of the possible Ice Beam or whatever they want to go for here. On top of that, I definitely don't want to eat a hit from Thunderous. I mean, Thousand Arrows, it hits Flying-type Pokemon. I always forget how it works. Like, it knocks him down the first turn. I don't know if it's super effective the first turn. I think I'll just Coil here and... I can protect to live the hit, because I don't think they're going to ice me, I think they're just going to Tailwind. And if I Coil, I can eat the hit a lot better, and then Dynamax and try to knock him out. Uh, however, it's not going to be fun clicking <laughs> clicking moves into those. They go for Thunder Punch, interesting. Are they going to Ice Beam me? No, they just go for Snarl, which I'm cool with. I can actually set up on them really, really hard now. Uh, I don't get KO'd by a Thunder Punch. I think what I can actually do is just Dynamax immediately. And... As long as they're faster than me, my Max Wormwind won't give them much of a boost. So I can Max Wormwind into them to do a decent amount of damage. It's only base 110, unfortunately. Um, dang it, this is mm, this is tough. I'm going to Max Wormwind on the Thunderous. And I'm going to go for the Moonblast. And hopefully if they don't Dynamax, I can actually eat this hit. As it looks like they didn't, since I outsped. They go for a Taunt, trying to prevent further coils. This will KO. Plus one max Wormwind, this will KO. Awesome, okay. 
Now, what I'm hoping is by the end of this, hopefully I can activate my, my freaking power construct. It'd be really annoying if I didn't. Because I don't really see what they have to activate me. I mean, yeah, I could get intimidated by Incineroar on the way in. Kartana isn't really a threat. I'll just Wormwind you. Or I can just Wormwind the thing next to you and just go into Incineroar. Yeah, I'll just do that. I can get minus two on the Kartana and decent damage on the Suicune. What I want more than anything is to get Ice Beamed, so hopefully I get close to getting knocked into Power Construct range. If I don't get knocked into Power Construct range once this session, I have failed. I have failed to make the team. There's the Incineroar. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Okay. Suicune, Incineroar gets an attack drop, I suppose. Ice Beam. Almost there. Almost there. Um, I suppose I just Quake into Incineroar. And I'll just Parting Shot on the Suicune. I'm not really concerned about the damage it can deal out with, like, what? Scald? Hydro Pump? It does, like, nothing to Incineroar. <laughs> it's Suicune. And yeah, they could fake me out, but I don't really lose too much from that play. Um, and it's not like they outspeed me, too. Like, this will do a solid amount of damage, yeah. It knocks them into barrier range if they're carrying it. There it is. They go for the Scald. Probably get a Parting Shot on me. So, I'll just get in my Regieleki. Yeah. They go for a Will-O-Wisp, forgetting that I'm the best. That I'm actually the best. Um, it's in my best interest to coil on this turn and just try to straight up knock out the Incineroar, I believe. Yeah, because I'm at plus two special defense. Volt Switch, I believe, will knock it out with Transistor. Um, and, like, I don't really need to set up anything yet. So, Coil once more. Volt Switch actually doesn't do it. Dang, that kind of sucks. Let me get in the Incineroar here. Get another Coil off. They can't burn me. So they go for the Parting Shot, and I get back up to neutral. I mean, this Kartana does not like getting... <laughs> it does not like getting set up on. I can Breaking Swipe here to decrease Kartana's damage output, not that it would do much to me anyways. Uh, and I'll just get in the Regieleki since it's already at minus one. I might be able to eat a hit, and they Dynamax the Suicune, funny enough. Interesting. Brick Break is a weird play. I don't know what they're doing here, to be honest. Like I said, I'm on mid-ladder. Max Hailstorm. Oh! <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Give me my Power Construct now. I will take that Power Construct. And we regain some health too. Okay, that's that's good. That's good health, man. That's good health. Um, I mean, I'm not doing too much damage to anything, but I can set up a light screen to just sit on them for a while, you know. Uh, I believe light screen's my play here because they might just switch out Kartana for Incineroar. Yeah. That'll knock out the Incineroar, which is great. Hailstorm does not even come close to knocking me out. Oh my god, why is Zygarde so bulky? <laughs> why is it just so bulky? Um, I get in the Incineroar now. I get in the Incineroar roll. Uh, I don't want to coil, because like I'm going to get knocked out. I'd rather just focus on this. I'm going to Volt Switch on the Suicune. And if they're Weakness Palsy Suicune... No, they're Leftovers. I was going to say, if they're Weakness Palsy Suicune, I'm going to lose it. So, Breaking Swipe will decrease the damage on... I come, ah, that comes out from Kartana. Intimidate will do the same. Brick Break. They break my screens. I live. Max Geyser actually knocks me out, unfortunately. Go for another Breaking Swipe. Kartana is no longer a threat. Uh, let me get in this thing. And, yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep clicking Breaking Swipe. And I suppose my play is to Volt Switch. I mean, I don't want to get crit. Like, that's the big thing. If I get crit, I'll, that'll be really annoying. Uh, I think I Volt Switch, though. Electroweb seems really unsafe. Yeah, that just knocks it out. Are they, like, max speed? What? All right. Um, yeah, I just win now. There's there's no way they beat me. So I'll go ahead and go for another Breaking Swipe. You know what be funny? Check this out. This is going to be really funny. Yeah, they just forfeit. <laughs> I was going to I was gonna heal myself up. Anyways, hopefully we can get, like, um, like another game that, you know, it's, it's a little bit more competitive than that. All right, what do we have here? So, oh, okay, Dialga is actually really scary in this format because it actually, like when it, it, it's usually running weakness policy, right? And when it Dynamaxes, it gets max Wormwind, which can decrease your damage output by a ton. So I have to be careful with this. Um, I think, I mean, they have two Intimidators, which kind of sucks for Zygarde. I think I want to go Moltres, to be honest. Like Moltres Aleki does not seem bad in this matchup. 
We'll do that. Uh, Moltres Alecki in the back, I can get a lot of value out of Tapu Fini. And Incineroar, like it could be good, but I might as well just bring Zygarde as like a final option. Like I'll just do that. Uh, but I'm gonna focus around probably Dynamaxing the, Dynamaxing the Moltres. As there is the Dialga Thunderous, um, I should be able to just light screen up, to be honest. Like, they're, they're probably going to go for, um, Trick Room, I would assume. Like, Dialga really likes functioning under Trick Room, but their team does not like getting light screened on. Um, they could go for uh, an electric move into Zygarde or whatever. Uh, I think I'll actually just let them. I think I might just let them, to be honest. Yeah, so they end up going for the Max Lightning, which doesn't affect me. Uh, I can get in my Tapu Fini here and Coil. Yeah, oh my god, why do I just sit on Thunderous? Why does Zygarde just sit on Thunderous? And I can coil forever. I can just coil forever now, because plus one special defense. There's the max ooze. He tried it. Okay. Coil on that boy. Coil on that boy. <laughs> Get my wiki berry up. Awesome, we're at plus one, plus one. Uh, they should be going for an electric move into the Finny. I'll just protect on that, uh, and I'll coil once more. If the Earthquake, it's not doing too much damage, and uh, they might not even send me into Dynamax range, so I might be able to max late game. Or not Dynamax range, they might not even send me into range where I, like, get into uh, max form, or whatever it is. You know what I, you know what I mean. Okay, cool, 51%, that's what I like to see. This is the turn. This is the turn I Dynamax and just end their whole career. Let me go ahead and... Hmm... I could preserve. I could just get in Reggie Alecki here. And go for the max Wormwind on Thunderous, since I'm mostly scared of Thunderous, to be honest. Dialga comes in. Phenomenal. They go for the Sludge Wave. It shouldn't do too much, and they are Telepathy, so they're not Weakness Policy. But... I don't get poisoned, which is great. I knock it out, and check this out. You ready? Plus one, plus one, plus two. Double the HP, and oh my god, what's our HP stat? I wish I could zero HP stat. Let me do the math. Let me let me do the math, because it doesn't show on Showdown, I believe. I might be dumb. You, might, you guys might be yelling at me like, Marcos, it's showing you right now. Uh, I'm max HP, right? So level 50, max HP. We are at... We have 646 base HP right now. That is insane. At plus two defense, what's their game plan? What's your out? You don't have one. You just don't. I mean, they could switch in Incineroar, right? I I'm a little bit concerned because they could actually Nene me. They could Nene me. I have a light screen up though, and they've already Dynamaxed. What do I even do here? Uh, I could just sack Tapu Fini. And their entire team... I guess my best play is just to max Wormwind Dialga for damage. Because even if they switch in the Landers here, I'll be fine. Roar of Time, how much does that do? Oh, pathetic. Pathetic. And they have to recharge now. So if they're going to switch out anything, it's going to be the Incineroar. Um, and they should switch it out for, for Landers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to heal Pulse my Zygarde and go for a max Wormwind on the Incineroar, assuming it switches out. It does not. We get back up our health. Max Wormwind for damage. There's the parting shot. Interesting. Fine. Like, I don't care. I can set up forever as long as you don't crit me. Uh, here I'll get in my Moltres. And... Wow, I, I never went small again. That's a slight bug. That's a slight bug. Let me coil once more. I can coil forever. I am Zygarde complete, bro. I am Zygarde complete. There's the Earthquake. And I'll actually just Nasty Plot with... Moltres, and that should give me the momentum I need to win. Yeah, I should be fine to win now. Let me Nasty Plot, let me give him the Nasty, and I'll Coil once more. A Rock Slide doesn't scare me. A Rock Slide legitimately does not scare me. Dialga is doing no types of damage, and I outspeed their whole team with Moltres, barring like Max Speed Landorus. Alright, we get our second Coil up. <laughs> I'll just Coil again, to be honest. I'll just Coil again. Let me, um... I could, I mean, they're gonna fake out my Zygarde, right? I'll just Fiery Wrath. Yeah, I'll Fiery Wrath. Or I could even, I could, I could Nasty Plot one more time just for a flex, because I think they need to fake out Zygarde. This is kind of risky. I think I'll just attack, I'll just go for Fiery Wrath, and I'll Coil. 
They go for the fake out. Fiery Wrath. I do a ton to Dialga. They flinch. Okay, that's game. Fiery Wrath again. Coil again. They can do whatever they want. They, they can't avoid the damage coming out from Moltres. And once Dialga goes down, they can no longer um, cycle Intimidate. So yeah, that was actually really clean. That was really clean. I liked that a lot. That was a really fun match. <laughs> I got to showcase just how insanely bulky Zygarde is. By the way, the, the, the HP most certainly uh, cut in half, considering like how much I took from Flash Cannon. So it was just like, uh, it's just a visual bug. I definitely undynamaxed. All right. So we're facing down Ho-Oh Sand, which is really interesting. Uh, I haven't really seen this comp at all. I'm, I'm sure like it's common and I just haven't seen it yet, but Zygarde looking kind of clean, to be honest. Uh, let me go Incineroar on lead, Tapu Fini in the back, and mm, Kartana looks really good here. Kartana looks really good for beating everything on this side of the screen, but on this side of the screen, it's actually kind of scary, so I'll go Aleki. Now, I do recognize that I have a massive ground weakness, but as long as that doesn't come into play, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, so I get Intimidate off here. I should be able to coil and get in Tapu Fini, and this is actually really big because they want to max Wormwind on my Zygarde, and at minus one, after a coil, I mean, they're probably Sand Rush, of course, um, in, in Misty Terrain, they're not going to be doing too much damage. So I feel comfortable with this play. There's the Ho-Oh. Oh, these coils, these coils are going to take me places. They're trying to Sacred Fire burn me, but they will not. There's the Rock Slide, awesome. Uh, I'll go ahead, they do have a Rillaboom they could switch into, but I feel like they probably brought Landorus. So I'm going to coil again and get in my Incineroar to intimidate that Ho-Oh. Um, and that'll also give me an opportunity to switch back in my Tapu Fini in case they did decide to bring something to un, you know, to undo my terrain. But I'm, I'm going to say it's probably Landorus in the back, just looking at my team, looking at their team. I have a lot of answers to Rillaboom. P2, okay, I'm fine with that. I wouldn't mind getting Ice Beamed. I wouldn't mind. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't mind getting Ice Beamed. All right, check this out. I'm going to taunt the P2 because I kind of want to get. <laughs> I kind of want what he's about to give me. Let me coil one more time. Um, or I could just fake out P2 and I, I, I lose nothing from that play. I'll do that. They are, they are going to get swept by Zygarde. <laughs> They're going to get swept. Coil again. What is your what is your game plan, bro? What is your game plan? I should outspeed Tyranitar, I think. If they're not max speed, I'm 82. Uh, I'm willing to take the bet just so I can parting shot the P2. I'll coil one more time on them. And I'll parting shot on what might be an ice beam. Tell me I'm faster than your Incinera or than your Tyranitar. I'm not, but they missed the rock slide, which is huge. Uh, let me get in the boy. Let me get in the boy. I'll get in Reggie Alecky to set up a screen. An Eerie Impulse, um, that play made no sense, but it's not like I fear physical attackers anymore. So I'll just Thousand Arrows, and I will get up the light screen on the off chance they are running, because what they have to have, I'm gonna say, I mean, their team probably has a Trick Room mode, so Trick Room, Eerie Impulse, Bolt Beam, I still wanna get a light screen off. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, little one, goodbye. <laughs> Oh my god! What? <laughs> that did so much damage! That did so much! I mean, I know I'm at plus three and it was super effective, but I'm not used to seeing Zygarde just take two things at once. Oh my god. That was so clean. I, I really like this team already. This team's so good. Um, okay, so we're facing Palkia, Trick Room. Uh, once again, like... Zygarde just goes stupid. It just goes stupid, and their lack of physical attackers just really makes me want to lead off with Tapu Fini. Or, I think Reggie Lucky might be better. Tapu Fini in the back definitely has to show up. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon here, Incineroar is nice once more just for hitting everything. But Kartana also provides some value, as well as Moltres. Um, I think I just prefer Incineroar for Fake Out and stuff, and Taunt. Taunt's going to be nice for Celesteela in case it's running uh, Leech Seed. So yeah. I mean, this is this is going better than I thought. There's the Incineroar. There's the Tapu Lele. So, um, they can't fake out me. They can't fake out me, so I should be able to get off my screen. 
I'll go ahead and set up a coil here and get off a light screen. Since they did set up uh, Psychic Terrain, they can't stop this. Uh, light screen, they can Moonblast me. They forgot about their terrain. 54%, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm gaming right now, I'm gaming. Uh, let me get up another coil and I'll Volt Switch out into... Yeah, and they're not Scarf. So I'll Volt Switch out on the Incineroar uh, into my Tapu Fini. Okay, that should let me eat the hit pretty well, and then I can just heal pulse my Zygarde next turn. Nice, no crit. Ooh, actually that might be a problem, just judging by how much they did. I can Dynamax to live the hit, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, I'm power constructing already. We're good, we're good. Uh, I'll coil once more. And heal pulse, I think. They could Ice Beam me, but... Mm, actually, I think it's just time to max Quake. I think it's just time to max Quake this Tapu Lele. Because they're going to stay in. And I'll heal Pulse. Oh, they go into Incinera. That's fine. I'm still going to get good damage. As they Dynamax, they're going for the Hailstorm, bro. They want a Hailstorm so bad. Let me become unkillable. <laughs> Pathetic. Okay. Um, they're probably going to fake me out but that means that they take a lot of damage with this thing. So I'll heal pulse again. I don't mind fake out. They don't fake out. That's fine. I'm faster than them. They drop to the max quake and they burn their Dynamax on a P2. That's like wasting your diamonds on a diamond hoe, dude. Like that's the same thing. Excuse my Minecraft reference, but that's the same thing. Go for another max quake. Go for another heal pulse. Like what is your out? You're trying to crit me. I can tell you're trying to crit me. But then you just lose to whatever I have in the back, I'm sure. Energy Ball. Ooh, okay. They said, I don't care about Zygarde. Oh. Well, they did it. They most certainly did it. Well, that's a problem. Oh, no. Uh, I still have a lot of stuff with Tapu Fini. I should be able to spam Muddy Water and just taunt the P2. Yeah, we'll just do that. Spam Muddy Water time. Okay, so they actually did crit me, which was annoying, but <laughs> I'm sure we're fine. We have so many special defense boosts on P2, and Energy Ball doesn't do too much. I miss, which is kind of eh. Accuracy drop is nice. Taunt to prevent a Trick Room. In case they wanted to go for that at some point, or even just to recover would be really nice to stop there. Uh, we need to start taking some pieces from their side of the field. I'll go ahead and remove this. Flare Blitz should do the trick, and Muddy Water is still very safe. Energy Ball, not quite within Wikiberry range. Good damage, good damage, Accuracy Drop. Can P2 miss this turn? I'd love to go for a Parting Shot on something. Oh, awesome, awesome. There's Palkia. Um, so Regieleki is like my best friend, I think. I should be able to Moonblast Palkia safely. Palkia doesn't really do anything to me. And I need to keep Incinera around for the Porygon endgame, I believe. Uh, I'll Moonblast you and get in the boy. He should be able to take a hit. They have Thunderbolt on their Palkia. That is terrifying. <laughs> How much do I do here? Oh yeah, we're good. I can just Electroweb. Burn. Okay, yeah. So Electroweb into Moonblast should do it. I should outspeed them. Alright, that's game. Because uh, I just have to... I'll Volt Switch here to live. Oh, no, they just forfeit. They don't want to play anymore. Awesome. So we managed to play out of that unfortunate crit. But yeah, I feel like we've shown that Zygarde has some potential in the format. I might lab this team a little bit more. Let me know in the comments section if you're down to see more Zygarde action in the future. But dang, this team is actually kind of clean. <laughs> this team's kind of clean. Anyways, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice night. Bye.